explain how a galvanometer works. This question is asking for a bit of a sort of in-depth answer. So, remember that a galvanometer is simply a coil in the presence of a magnetic field that causes a needle to move when a current flows through it, right? And that'll be because of the motor effect. Uh, of course, if we uh, take out the current, it'll move itself back to its original state, and that's because of the tension in the coil. So we need to make sure that we have all of those elements in our answer. A galvanometer is a device which measures electric current. Best to start with the basics. A needle is held in place by a spring or a coil in the presence of a permanent magnet, right? which we can measure the strength of quite easily. When current flows through the coil, the motor effect, uh, which is simply the fact that conductors uh, move in a magnetic field or they experience a force in a magnetic field when they're carrying a current, will cause the coil to stretch until the restoring force of the coil, which gets greater the further it stretches, balances the motor force. That means we'll have a net force on the needle of zero, uh, a force in one direction from the stretching of the coil and a force in the other direction due to the motor effect. The restoring force of the coil can be easily measured. There is in fact a fairly handy equation that will tell you exactly how much restoring force the spring has. Uh, so the position of the galvanometer's needle can be calibrated. We can say that if it's exactly this amount of force, then that'll equate to you know, one ampere or something. That means that we can uh, use a galvanometer to see how far the needle is deflected and say that must be the current flowing through it. 